All right. So, <coughs> Riley. Yeah, what's up? He, he has no more anecdotes. He doesn't go to school anymore. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> I guess, we got, I guess since uh, we've been, like, you know, too warrantined, I, I guess you don't really have any uh, uh, lately, you know, stories that have been happening with you lately, huh? Uh, no, not really. I've been not going to school, just sitting at home, fucking dying. Dear viewers, welcome to the MoCast. We regret to inform <laughs> you that we have no cold opens today, as yeah. we have been stuck in our homes for the past three weeks. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty much the fucking case here. So I We guess apologize we'll... for the inconvenience, but we're just going <laughs> to jump right into it. And a one, a two, a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just roll with it. Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? Welcome to the podcast. I am your host, Mo Diddy. And uh, we, we've been taking the last week off because we've been either feeling kind of sick or IRL shit's just been... And so now we're back, and joining me today is our two co-hosts. Say hi to you, Robin. Hello. And say hi to Riley, who's hey, the, poor, was the poor bastard's been stuck at freaking home because no skew. So I just want to go to school and see my friends and learn. Well, don't you get into, like, Google Hangouts or whatever it is that you kids are into these days? I mean, I get it. You mean for school? Well, for, yeah, like, you know, you can have school no. online. Not yet. That starts on the 31st. Oh, and in Rhode Island, it already started. Um, my, my boyfriend's sisters were, like, doing online school. Oh, no shit. Yeah, Asterios. Yeah, mandatory. Talking, yeah, Asterios, a few, a few uh, podcasts ago, uh, he was talking about how there was a, uh, uh, in, in China, they were already, uh, uh, getting the freaking uh, school into the freaking living rooms and stuff through like a, a communication through the internet and stuff like that. And I thought that was a really, really good idea because the last thing y'all want to do is throw y'all summer away. But it looks like this whole year is about to be just all sorts of fucked up. And I, I, I don't yeah, really. The, the impression I got when I was over there was like uh, from, from my boyfriend's sister was like, yeah, basically, I wake up at 9 a.m. and sign in to the attendance, and then I log out and go to sleep until 3 p.m. or until, like, you know, 5 p.m., and then I wake up and do my homework before 10 p.m., and then, you know, I have the rest of the, the night to myself. See, I, I really, I would have killed for something like that when I was in school, man. I, I, I've always hated going to school. I've always wanted to just, like, literally do anything else other than go to school. And it's 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 kind of crazy. The thing that you, that terrifies you the most, you know, like a human level extinction event, uh, really just shows us like how how many like creature comforts that we've denied ourselves that we probably would if we would just implement them in our everyday daily lives would probably better us as a people and as a nation. But so far, I don't I don't think that I don't know how long this is going to last. And I don't know how uh, how well it's going to freaking do, because as soon as the party on Wayne freaking switch gets freaking pulled uh, back up again, we'll probably end up just going back and doing our own freaking stuff. And, and that'll kind of suck, because uh, one of the things that I thought was really cool about like a uh, hurricane, uh, uh, like uh, hurricane events, like because I used to live in Houston, I went through like four or five hurricanes just living there. You know, it was the sense of community when, like, a, a shitty situation or, like, a, a tragedy will, like, uh, bring us all together, you know? But the second that we get tired of it, we just go back right to it. At least that's just what I think, anyway. <sighs> so Yeah, people I can't be human normally. There has to be some kind of, like, tragic event. 
Yeah, a, a tragic event or there has to be some sort of incentive. Uh, generally, it's a material possession or like some money. But it, yeah, it's like one day I think we'll pull our heads out of our asses. But then again, you know, we might not be here in two years time. Like it, it's Don't got say pretty, that. No. I, I can't help but saying that, man. We went through like, what was it? A. Uh, like it was like it's almost uh what 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 are the stats right now, uh six hundred and sixty one thousand one hundred and twenty nine cases. In the span, of, almost three months, like this month ain't even over. Yeah, yet. it started, didn't it? Technically, uh, the virus first appeared in October or something. Did it show up in October? Well, God. I think it's December. Yeah, it was just China years. wasn't reporting it, or they were like hiding it. Yeah, uh, yeah, there was there was something like that, but right around December, that's that's when the uh, that's when people really started paying attention and really started seeing it, and they started seeing the little uh, reports fluttering coming out of China here and there. I remember Medicare was on the forefront for this the entire time. Uh, playing every single freaking video that we could possibly get our hands on just so we can see what the fuck was actually really going on uh, coming out of China because the CCP doesn't want any of this uh, didn't want any of this freaking leaked at all they just wanted to keep it under wraps and, and not let everyone know that they were welding people uh, into their they were welding people shut and locking them completely in their their freaking apartments. They started opening them up uh, yesterday, and the first headline I saw was untold amount of people dead. Oh, so shit. the majority of the people that the the government has welded shut into their homes, most if not almost all of them are probably dead. So wow. yeah, that's that's what we got to work with right now. And unconfirmed reports of uh, the Queen of England could be uh, could have come down with the virus because uh, uh, I think the Prime Minister Boris Boris Johnson got it. Thank you, thank you. Boris Johnson got it, and one of the princes uh, uh, got it. The, the the one the the really old the one, pedophile one or oh no, I, I think it was the pedo one. Was the it? pedophile one? Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, the, Andrew the, or is Andrew the pedophile one? I think it's Andrew. Uh, it's 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 one of the ones who's like in, in Harry's the like, okay one. Uh, yeah, he's the he's the young one, right? The one that actually went to Megan, uh, yeah, 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 and uh, he was in the freaking military, and he was going to serve his country doing that one, doing it that way. Yeah, I, I think that's him. But uh, the, there was the one that no one cared about even before the Epstein stuff came out. You know, I thought that was really funny because he's thinking to himself, "I'm going to be king one day," and he's almost in his seventies, and and uh, uh, the queen is like well into her nineties, and he came out, he came down with the Rona, and so uh, th th there's been pictures of him shaking hands with multiple people just the last week, week, week and a half alone. Of him just uh, shaking hands with multiple diplomats, multiple world leaders. Uh, he's, they said that he uh, met with the queen during those two weeks. They say that they were doing the social distancing thing, but I mm -hmm. don't know. I, I don't know if that's actually true or not. They well, it was like a month or two ago. Boris Johnson was like, "Oh yeah, I, you know, I I w went to this pl like this hospital or something and shook hands with everyone and what." Like pulling a fucking princess die, basically, and and you know, <laughs> unfortunately, it's it's uh, actually contagious through through handshake, not unlike uh, HIV. You know. Yeah, yeah. This this was probably the stupidest move. Like most of our this this whole friggin' ordeal has really showed us how absolutely inept most governments really, really are. I mean, right now, uh. Right now in India, they they don't really have much of a plan. They're just telling people to sh stay inside, and they they send freaking uh, uh, the jackboots. There there was a a video that I was watching on a freaking stream, I think last night or the night before, of their cops beating the shit 
out of uh, uh, people who are uh, who are out just lollygagging around with freaking canes, you know, because they cane people in that freaking country. And he was just like, oh, oh, you know, what are you doing out here? Whap, whap, whap. And their friends would start showing up. Dude, this one dude was getting the fuck beat out of him because his freaking uh, his little Vespa or his moped wouldn't fucking start. Man, I would feel so bad. Like, he, he's actually so what I feel bad for. Because, like, you know, he's like, I'm just trying to get some milk or something, you know, the Indians do. Uh, you know, he's just getting the fuck whapped out of him uh, by those fucking canes, man. That must suck. But, yeah, uh, I'm guessing today's subject pretty much is uh, quarantine stories. Like, how are you handling the quarantine? What are you... What are you doing? Quarantine activities? Like, how are your friends and family handling it? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, who would like to go first? I can go first. You can go first? Okay, good deal, good deal. Uh, all right, well, Robin, take her away. Well, uh, I am an a $11 an hour essential employee. So, unfortunately, uh, do work I, I do GameStop? have to... Yeah, I do not work at GameStop. Uh, oh, and, okay. You know, they're, they're not essential anymore. Remember, they unfiled because everyone got uh, mad. I, I know, I know. Yeah, God, if, they, <laughs> if anyone is, if there's a company that deserves to go down because of this fucking virus, it's freaking GameStop. Why? What did GameStop do? What, <laughs> have you not been paying attention to the news, bud? The, that's fine. They can be an essential business. I want every business possible to stay open. I've already given this view, so. Well, actually, that, that Zoomers, man. Yeah, buddy, I I don't know if that's a really great idea, especially like if there are businesses that we absolutely don't need, like say a GameStop. I don't think that they should be open right now. You know, I think every business that exists should be open right now and never should have closed. Uh, I I think we'd be much more. The infection rate would have been much much higher if we didn't shut down for a little while. Correct. I mean, I, I think so. I like it. A lot of it is slowing down in a lot of places. If you believe uh, China, which I recommend you do not, uh, <laughs> they, they, they're saying that the infection rate has peaked. But now we're getting uh, uh, reports that uh, the reinfection rate is starting to happen because they're trying to reopen their markets back up again and reopen society back uh, up again. And, uh, it hasn't been very successful so far, but this is also China, so everything you hear from them is absolutely freaking suspect or suspicious. Fish. Uh, suspicious. Totes suspicious. I heard from dog. someone that the original strategy of the UK was that they were going to do a, a, a herd immunity strategy. So basically they were going to take all the old people and lock them up for like four months and then let everyone get the coronavirus, and then they're all immune to the coronavirus. That's a great idea. The- That's an amazing idea. Uh, I don't except think it's a, should have done. No, except it's a virus, and you can catch it more than once, and you don't get immune to it. Yeah, you ain't got the immunities right now, boy. <laughs> oh man, that's uh, that's a terrible, terrible idea. Is to like herd all the old people together. Like, okay, we we need to learn from zombie movies. Okay, we we need to learn that gathering everyone up in a military base or in any official capacity it's just going to end up with the freaking infection just spreading within that freaking camp these people need to start watching the walking dead for christ's sake because this Jesus is what Christ. happens because this is what happens when you gather everyone up they're going to the infection is just going to it's just going to spread and it's going to spread like wildfire and then everyone's going to freaking die but anyway, I totally interrupted you, Robin. My bad. Uh, go ahead uh, with your story. Yeah, I'm I'm an essential employee who gets paid minimum wage because that's what essential employees get paid. Um, oh, of course. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Uh, it's, it's weird. Yeah, I don't know how that works. But, uh, you know, I, I still have to work. Uh, my hours are severely cut now that I was I was all excited. I was about to do full time and, you know, now that now the hours are fucked again because you know my 
business can't afford to have me taking those hours, so bosses would rather take the hours, so that way that they don't have to pay anyone. It's just like, because the businesses can't afford, afford it, because the businesses are, like, the business itself is not making enough money to support itself. Oh, the store right up the road from me is, uh, that's threatening to happen to them, because uh, uh, the, 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 the resupply trucks just ain't going to show up a, a, as frequently as they are. And right now, they're selling all their produce. And once they uh -huh. run out of produce and they can't figure out what to do after that, they're going to shut down their store and they're not sure if they're going to be able to reopen back up or not. They laid off most of their workers a couple of days ago, too. Yeah, it's, it's not looking good. Um, I know my state's trying to get, like... Um protections uh and like legislation to protect small businesses like the one that i work at because like a lot of them are going to be going under oh it's both kind of both, going both the ones that are closed because they're non-essential businesses and the ones that are still open because they're essential businesses but they're just not getting enough traffic because people aren't leaving their homes <laughs> Well, yeah, you know, of course they can't, and for good reason, because there's a freaking virus going fucking batshit. No, and, uh, leave home. Don't stay home. Don't flatten the curve. <laughs> you, know, you, you just want, Unflatten like... Unflatten the curve. You, you just want, like, a, a freaking catastrophe uh, to happen. I just want you? the world to continue, is what I want. It won't yeah, happen but... if everyone dies from the fucking coronavirus. Yeah, and right now, like, a lot of people are really pissed off that all the billionaires and all the rich have officially hunkered down after not taking this seriously at all. And they realize, well, what are we going, we're going to have to... Uh, I have to stay in my $12 million mansion for how many months? <laughs> my, tax oh, tragic. Might, oh, my, my taxes might go up because we're going to have to bail out the irregular everyday worker. Wah. So Oh, it's I think fine. I don't pay him anyway. Yeah, and, and, and quite frankly, I think this is uh, like they, they, uh, they hunkered down. And then they gave Mar uh, they gave Washington their fucking marching orders, and told us the working class to go quote unquote back to work because America's got to you know the train's got to run on time, and yeah, all that please. stuff. Yeah, please send them back to work. Throw them back. Re yeah, but I, I just I think that's a freaking terrible idea right now because we still have this virus just uh, going crazy. And, open you know, the stores, open the schools, open the restaurants, no. open it all. You realize what will happen to our hospitals if everyone catches coronavirus at once? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be an Italy situation where, like, they're going to have to choose who to treat and who not to treat. You're going to have the, like, who's going to stay out in, in the lawn of the hospital and die out in the, in the grass? And, and who's going to get the treatment to, like, actually live? Yeah, uh, there's already uh, uh, confirmed reports right now coming out of Italy that the uh, Italian freaking uh, uh, health minister, or uh, not the health minister, well, what, what, whatever his, uh, his thing is called, uh, what their position is called, uh, they have told everyone working at the hospitals to stop treating people over 60. Yeah. And that's, that's pretty much what we got right now, is that th there are... There are dead bodies in front of the hospitals in Italy, like, because they can't get treatment. Really, I but didn't hear that. And they're just on fucking dying. Yeah, but that's There's a no room in the hospital, in. And, and some people have to stay outside and die. Like, it's your time. You're old. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no. If, yeah, but if we, if we social distance and we prevent the spread of it or slow the spread of it, we won't have to overwhelm our hospitals and have, you know, to make the decisions on who lives and who dies. That I just don't way. want to do online school, okay? Fuck off. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. So, like, that, millions of freaking old people need to die just so you can not be <laughs> Just so I don't have to do online school, yes. Riley, I swear to God, if I could reach through the internet and hit you, <laughs> I would. With the back of my hand. Riley wants you to die, Mo. He not wants boomers like sense. you to die. Hey, 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 excuse me. I'm 40, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not. I'm not dead yet. I'm not that old. I'm just forty. Oh, I thought there was an extra zero. But if, if Riley had it his way, you'd be dead right now. Bitch, if he could Riley, go back to school, 
dude, it, all right, you know what? I, I'll die, but I'm going to find you, Riley, and I'm going to fucking coof on you, and then I'm going to teabag you as I fucking die. All right, that's going to be my final action. It's just me, Halo fucking style. And I'll catch the shit. coronavirus, and I'm 17, so it isn't going to kill me. And then I'll go sniper scope sneeze on all the boomers to try to yuck my yum. To what? Could you repeat that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, I'm trying to have a good time. A boomer tells me to stop. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll, t I'll stop right away at you. Oh, sorry. No, this is okay. Uh, dude, I want to kick you in the nuts and throw you in Florida <laughs> with all the other fucking youngster assholes. They're I'm like, already fuck here. Fuck oh, you're in Florida? Yes. God, so uh, is your fucking whole <laughs> freaking state just retarded, or is this a special occasion? <laughs> oh, no. Florida is definitely retarded. Uh, because you people like all the dumb stories uh, so far out of this whole freaking thing have come from Floridians or from Florida itself. Like, we have no idea really what, if, if the quarantine... My profile itself... picture was one of those spring breakers for, like, a couple weeks. Yeah, I saw that. I that was, was like, hell funny. yeah, brother! I didn't know you were standing in solidarity with them, though. <laughs> I 100% was. Oh my god, you and Dick would probably make a great freaking episode, like about 45 minutes, <laughs> about you two just saying, fucking boomer, uh, say it with me, Boomer, and then you go remover. Boomer, remover. Yes. Over and over again. All right, I'll begin just, the I'll biological just, terrorism. I'll just skip, like, the next 60 episodes of one of my show and say that it's episode 108 so I can convince Dick to come on. And then oh we'll my do God. that. <laughs> uh, anyway, we, we've, we've kept interrupting Robin uh, trying to tell her story. So, uh, Robin, go, go, go ahead and just continue your story. No, uh, I just... I deal with money all day, and, like, my my store does not have hot water right now, so, like, it can't wash my hands. Have, it, oh, my God, really? Yeah, there's no hot water. Cause, Why is uh, there no hot water? Because they're cheap. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, God. So I have to bring ha hand sanitizer with me, and I'm, like, rubbing my hands raw, like, drying them out with the fucking alcohol, like... Oh, it's mm -hmm. the most disgusting feeling, isn't it? Like I was yeah. telling you, I was telling you earlier, Robin. I fucking can't stand that uh, that feeling where you you put the stuff on you, and then it's it's still wet. Like your hands are wet, and you can't shake them off because that would defeat. Like you shake all the disinfectant stuff off, that defeats the point. I only so, wash my hands when there's something on them. I only use hand sanitizer when it's offered to me. Fuck off. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hashtag social distancing. Practice it, yo. I <laughs> only shower when there's an inch of dirt along my skin. Like, what the fuck? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I only wash my hands when there's, like, food or dirt on them. I'll just okay. wash them for fun. <laughs> you know what? Real talk here. L let's just go ahead. <laughs> let let's just go ahead. And Do they just not it. teach basic hygiene <laughs> to children anymore? Like, what is wrong with you? I just choose not to practice it. No, Riley, Riley, let me I just don't brush my you. teeth every day either. Uh, Riley, let me just ask you something, and this is, comes from the heart, but are you trying to kill your parents? <laughs> because it's not it's his parents' like, fault. This, they didn't even teach him right. Like, all of this sounds like you're just trying to kill your parents. No, you're it's trying fine. To do my, it in my, a way my parents aren't old enough to be in the risk group, and I'm not going to my grandparents' house, so I'm fine. Okay, so you're at least not checking up on Nana and uh, on Grandpa and Nana. I would if they'd let me. They don't Why? want me in there. Okay. Yeah, you want to give them coronavirus so that way you can get back to school, you fucking asshole. <laughs> no. I can't have my grandma die. That'd be horrible. Okay. This is what you want. Only my grandma. My grandma gets to live. The rest oh, of Oh, everyone them. else's grandmas. Yeah, okay, fucking <laughs> dick wet. Oh, my God. I mean, you, you realize that it wouldn't stop with your grandma, the one that you don't like, right? It would end up, like, going to everyone else who's elderly. No, 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 no. I do like my grandma. Everybody except my grandma has to die. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were like the last time you were talking about your grandma was during Thanksgiving. 
and you had a complete shit show of a Thanksgiving over there. Well, I mean, it happens. Like, we get into fights. She, Family members get into fights. My grandma's the best. Well, all right, all right, all right. So, what did you, what did you like, eat too much food or something? Wasn't that the argument? I think maybe. No, I, I think I you don't were remember. Like, you were like getting like a, a cookie or a sandwich or something, and one of your relatives is like, "Well, I guess Riley's getting what he wants again." Just like oh always. yeah, that is what happened. I remember that story. They oh, were my cooking God. the Thanksgiving dinner, and I wanted lunch because I was like. My stomach felt empty and I was hungry. And grandma's husband said, No lunch. And grandma said, You can just have a sandwich. And then. And, and uh, you and sat then... down at the dinner table with your unwashed hands because they didn't have literal <laughs> fucking dirt on them. And <laughs> chowed down into your food. So let me guess, like, exactly. how many people. So how many people is on the fuck you die Riley list? Everyone. <laughs> Every single human being in, in Except that house. For me. Oh, okay, in my so, house. Okay, for yeah, yeah, because that's that's what. So, or okay, no wait, 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 wait. So you you didn't know I was just talking about your house when I asked you that question. Then. <laughs> no, I said every human who isn't me should die. Well, fuck you, man. Well, why should you get to do the freaking last man on earth freaking fantasy? That's my fantasy. Like, I, I want to get a freaking RV and freaking travel around the freaking. You can country. go. You can go. You can go second to last, Mo. We'll be the two last men on earth, and then you'll die of natural old age. And then I'll live for a couple more years because you, like, are 30 years older than me. He's calling you a fucking boomer again. <laughs> I fucking hate your face. I hate your face so much. <laughs> Dude, I will drop kick you if we ever meet in real life uh, at, 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 at you know at MoCon 2021. You know, like when I when I decide to like run, you know, God, wouldn't that be some shit? Have like a or MoFest 2000. It's like OzFest. Well, we had to cancel so MoFest 2020 because of you know can't have big <laughs> gatherings. Yeah. And you know, no one was going to show, so you know there was also. That. I'm really glad I went to. Uh... The, the podcast convention into Disney World a week before everything closed. Yeah, before, like, the whole world went to hell, you'll at least have one fond memory of you breaking up with your totally not your boyfriend and then getting back together. Oh, we're, we're totally you back together, ride. yeah. No, but I want to clarify, you got back with it because you needed a ride home. And, all, I mean, I, I now have had that ride home, and we're still friends, so... Oh, you rode your boyfriend? I'm going to kill there. you, Robin, right now. Dude, <laughs> Fight me. Such a degeneracy. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so, Robin, your your cheap as hell freaking bosses refuse to pay for hot water services. And go. Yeah, it's it sucks. It's not good. I mean, everyone in my family is working as an essential employee, basically. Uh, my dad does auto repair work. My brother works at a grocery store. My cousin works at a factory doing something, but it, I don't think it is a big deal because I think he has enough, like, distance at, at the factory that it's not, like... Because it's, it's less of, like a, like, a hard labor factory and more of, like, a... Like a, like a technic... Tech, like a... Like a technological factory, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they probably make basic bitch parts for bullshit freaking uh, uh, parts for other bullshit freaking or more important machines. I mean, my I, sister I, does I, accounting I, for, for uh, hospitals or for like the local, like, like. Damn. It's like, like a, you know, what is it, like a physician's or something like that or like for the hospital, basically, or for like the medical system. You know, they could, like, be nice and give your freaking dad at least a freaking time off from this. Because, you know, like, I don't really think we need that many auto repair people right now. Like, everyone else I can unfortunately see could be, uh, well, not you either. Uh, you and your dad well, deserve all need gas. Right? Well, yeah, but you're, uh, honest to God, the bosses can do that, can't they? I, I would like m money, though. Well, you getting Trump bucks though in, in, in May? Didn't you I double dip in. Trump bucks. 
Yo, yeah, Trumpus. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. Trump Trump's not until both? May. Well, I guess you can get both if you like. But I'll, I'll Wait, is the Trump bucks not coming till May? No, nah, man. They uh, they they passed the freaking bill in the House and the Senate, and it's going to Trump to get signed, and I believe it did. And what turned into relief for all American workers and all and almost all Americans in just a quote unquote few weeks, a couple of weeks ago, is now apparently it's it's coming in May. So wait, so, what's the age where you get it? Hold on. Well, if you filed for I taxes, turn eighteen in April. <laughs> if you filed for taxes last oh, year shit. and and this year, you're uh -huh. you're eligible for it. Big Sam. And that that's just with you just being a regular Joe Schmo. John I did my taxes John hella early this year. I'm glad. Okay, then you're going to be eligible for it. But I have yet to do my taxes because I I don't really give a shit. Like the it's only so time easy. I, I know it's easy. Well, actually, what's a pain in the ass is I have to call up my uh, job, my old job that I did not part in good terms with, and I have to go, hey, can y'all please send me a digital <laughs> copy of my W-2? They have to. And it's just, it's fucking aggravating because I'm not looking But they have to send it. it. Yeah, they, they have to send it. It's just, I don't like, want If you really want, you can email. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I was going I was going to tell them, yeah, I would like you email to me please. But yeah, the thing like usually when I do my taxes though, it's it's when I need the money. Right. You know, because just that that's my just in case, you know, in, in between paychecks cuz I I know how to time things pretty well. Like usually like that I I get my shit in like almost 2 weeks. I usually don't have to wait too long to get my taxes. I never really had to wait too long to get my taxes in my life. I even did taxes on the 15th of April, which is all pushed back to, I think, uh, July 15th, I believe. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, Unless you're rich. If you're rich, you actually don't have to pay your taxes at all. No, nah, you... you yeah, you got like a thousand corporate freaking loopholes and stuff you can go through. But yeah, the uh, the the bailout package was, uh, you know, if you did your taxes last year, or this year, uh, you're eligible for it. Uh, if you have a small business or a business that employs of oh, 500 people and more, you're eligible for a huge part of the billion dollar bailout part of it, and uh, you qualify for loan forgiveness. If uh, you're one of those uh, 500 or more businesses and there's a ton of also like partial or even full loan forgivenesses for small businesses, uh, just in case like you're having trouble meeting the freaking payroll deadlines or whatever. I, I'm not an expert. I haven't read the whole thing yet. It's like 83 pages worth of uh, pork barrel spending for the Republicans and Democrats to. Oh, that, that's the thing that I think that pisses me off the most is this bill could have been like 20 pages of how are we not going to fuck the population over of our country right now. Instead, it just turned out everyone wanted their little pet project or their little thing funded or the little like uh, uh, the, the, the stuff that gives them social brownie points for their reelection campaigns in a couple of years. Uh, basically, almost everyone got what they wanted. After this is, of course, after the Fed once again said that it can print money without anything backing it at all. That fucking sucks. So uh, that's oh God. Here he goes again. Yes. Yeah, so, no. 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 I was going to go back to to Robin. Uh, Robin. How no. Uh, I was talking about something else. Sorry. Well, what were you talking about? I got an email from Google Voice because um, that's where I have my voicemail line for largest issue in the galaxy. And my friend Jason has made a habit of just calling it several times every single day. And I saw a notification like, oh, God, here we go again. Well, yeah, he's uh, got to call it because if it's inactive for too long, they'll just cancel it, right? I don't think so. Not hmm. that I know of. All right. Well, anyway, uh, so Robin, how how do you think that your uh, your friends and family so far are faring uh, during this uh, quarantine uh, that we're under? How do how do you th how do you see everyone faring so far? 
I mean, mostly just like cabin fever, I guess. <clears throat> Everyone's like all kind of. W- Let weird me go to school, being please. Stuck please. Yeah, Riley wants like the total destruction of humanity as a whole if it means he can see his friend. Yeah, just so he can go to Disney World unimpeded so he doesn't have to stand in any freaking lines. Riley, I wish I didn't doctor. have to stand in lines for Disney World. Just Riley. get, like, cancer or something. Hell yeah, brother. That's that's not something I would suggest, but, you know, hey, that's, that's a, it's a route. It's a route. Like, you know, just I guess get you, cancer. I mean, you know, how bad do you want to get on It's a Small World freaking ride? I or, did you know, really hey, want to get on It's a Small World, and I did not get to. Space Mountain. Well, I, I got on the Small World ride that when I was a kid. That was great. I did as well, yeah. Yeah, I, I only got I, to do. I pretty much only did Tiki Room, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Thunder Mountain. Those were like the three things I got to do. I Those think are the I, three things you did at Disney. Pretty much. I also Jesus. went on the Tom. I also went on the Tom Sawyer boat. I guess. <laughs> Uh, I think I managed to did knock you, did out. Did you say it? <laughs> no, I did not say it. Oh, I almost forgot. I went on uh, Aladdin Magic Carpets too. That was fun, even though I'm pretty Ooh. sure they made that ride for five year olds. But I went on yep. it anyway, and it was fun. Uh dear God, I would pay all the money in the world to see like a picture of of you flying on the magic carpet <laughs> while a bu- while a bunch of like kids behind you are just crying because the weird man wants to go on the carpet ride again, mommy. Yay! (laughs) Don't don't look at him. Don't look at him, Sally. Don't look at him, Billy. I mean, there is a vlog of me being super excited and Jindy being like, oh, yeah, the the magic carpets. (laughs) Did you try to sing, you know, I can show you the world? I think I did. Oh man, I bet people really freaked out when they started seeing your ass fucking do all that shit. Oh, well, I was doing I wasn't doing it loud enough for people to hear it over the boom of the ride. Okay, so you were doing that weird like kind of creepy thing where you you sing to yourself, you're like ah. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you the world. Shining, shivering, splendid. You know this ride's for 10-year-olds, right? Fuck off. It's Disney World. You gotta feel the magic. That's when you really start, like, yelling at the top of your voice, Oh, new world! That's what I was, te- that's what I was telling Gingy. Like, I know this is a ride for kids, but this is Disney World. You gotta feel the magic. You gotta dis- suspend your reality and just feel the magic. Oh, dear God. So... So all right, so so Robin's been actually having to deal with some some real world bull, some real world bullshit, cheap ass bosses. Her and her entire family are deemed quote unquote essential employees, and and, and let me guess, and you have been fantasizing about the destruction of humanity, so you're not in so your 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 comforts. Aren't so impeded. And kids know. these days want to go to school. Oh, and, and oh, you man. want to go back to school because you miss your friends so much. Riley, that that's this is you. This is your spot. This is me. I do just want to go back and see my friends. And I even want to learn. I even want to go back to learning because I ain't going to learn shit online. Well, haven't you talked to your friends? Like, like I asked you this earlier. Have you not, like, Got on Google. My actual Hangouts school or... friends, I've done some texting, but I haven't talked to them. Well, like, you know, you should probably like organize a Skype call or a Discord call or something. They don't like calls because they're antisocial. Well uh well, I, I have nothing for that then. I, I guess <laughs> I guess you're just eating the sausage on that one, my la- my hearties. So anyway, so you you're you would say that you're probably going stir crazy in isolation right now. Is that is that correct, Riley? Yes. Send me to school. I thought I'd never say it. I'd uh, give me the vacations all the time, but now just take me home. 
Country Road. Take me home to the pit. I dance is trending on Twitter. <laughs> 14,000 tweets alone. My God. Oh, God. Like, everyone, everyone's going fucking ape shit right now. Like, this is like th- this is what I've been doing, right? Uh, you know, so my isolation routine has not really changed at all because I work online and I work in front of my computer desk all day. Uh, mm-hmm. when I do have work. So isolation has just become like a Tuesday for me. And uh, like, I I haven't really noticed too much of a difference. It's been like, huh. And the whole world's burning and everyone else is freaking out. But I put stream, the fires. Smoke, stream, watch the kill stream, smoke some more, sleep. Tr- <laughs> and, and see, here's the thing. I've been trying to cut down on, on my smoking. So I'm just not like a fucking vegetable. And uh, I've been trying to stream a lot more, and uh, I'm streaming a little bit more, and trying not to. I'm, I, I have a couple of YouTube videos in the pipes right now. Uh, I streamed to Twitch for the first time in months today. Why didn't you say something? I would have been on there. Oh shit! I probably should have. Yeah, you dummy. This is why <laughs> your shit doesn't grow because you don't hawk it enough. I have a whole Discord server. Some people the- say you hawk too much. <laughs> That's what some people say. I don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> I, I, I get my uh, my shit. It needs to get out there. Hell yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, I, but like, you know, maybe I, I sort can, of like. Yeah, I feel bad about everyone knows Mo about... as the guy who hawks, but they also know Mo as like, oh, but he's the, the only one hates. that we were okay with hawking. Like, for me, I like I feel bad about hawking, so like I chose like the one thing that I want to hawk everywhere, and that one thing is largest issue in the galaxy. So I hawk that in every server that has an advertisement channel, and other than that, I kind of just keep it to my own circles. Yet you always lead with pixels when you hawk. Do I? Well, I yeah. Well, I saved the best for last. I at the last, I'm like, most oh, importantly, gotcha, the right, Riley right. podcast mega feed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but there's nothing. I, I would, I would like to think that creatively, like I'm, I'm because before this fucking stupid ass uh, Corona nonsense, I was like in a creative funk. I wasn't creating anything. I wasn't really streaming very much, and when I did, I kind of hated it. Uh. And even though I was enjoying my Final Fantasy streams, you know, it was sort of like, uh, you know, it was just like, I, I just feel like a depression coming on. I was feeling a depression coming on, and it was a depression for no reason. Well, I guess there's a little bit of reason. I mean, I'm 40, and I'm living with my family again, and so that gets to me occasionally. But, uh, yeah, um. You know, I, I like to think that this has helped me out of my funk, and I'm getting more creative as time goes on during this whole thing. Uh, would you say that you've been getting more creative, Riley, because of this? Um, I mean, maybe I'm recording a little bit more than I would, but not really. Do you it's think mostly they... just shitty because I, I have less of an excuse to not have to edit our Pokemon show. Because I can't be like, I have school. Because I fucking don't. See, that's the thing. I think this is a really, really good time to re-examine ourselves as people and realize how, like, we need to recognize the parts where we've just become extremely lazy, you know? Where we don't, we can say to ourselves, well, I can watch this hour-long YouTube video uh, about, like, some bullshit drama that happened a couple of years ago. Or... Uh, I, I can edit this video, and it won't take me but 15 minutes to do. And that's what I've been fighting with myself all day today. Is I have this one video that I'm that it's my GameStop video, and it's it's ready to go. I just been fucking around. <laughs> I, I've got I've got Sony Vegas Pro 14 open. I've got everything loaded in there, and it's just like and hour and a half long quote unquote vape break. Where I just I sit out. I've been sitting outside a lot more lately too, uh, because of this quarantine. I guess I've just been feeling it, like not not me myself. Like like the quarantine really hasn't affected me, but I do recognize all the stress 
to all my friends like you guys and stuff like i know that you guys are under some stress and that affects me and i know that a lot of my family is under stress because you know my brother has to stay home from work because there's apparently a couple of corona cases 15 minutes up the road from us and my dad's uh, in his 60s now so is my mom my grandmother's almost in her 80s and she's in her 70s right now so if they get them there's a good chance they can freaking take them down so yeah but they're boomers do they believe that it's actually deadly no they totally believe it's deadly (laughs) oh my, my dad's like i don't know i just get the flu and then you know i just sleep for like a week no, and then they, they get removed. That's why they call it the boomer movement. Well, I don't want them all to die, especially <laughs> right now. You know, like I want to see. You know, well, I mean, I just don't want them to die. I guess there's really no other like a uh, explanation I have. There's, there's no. Well, let's wait till the apocalypse. You know, so I could steal my truck and I want to see the steal their Kill truck. every boomer and except I, I for Bernie see, Sanders. And then I, I want to see the look on their faces. There's nothing like that. That that would be like Riley's department, but no. Why why all the boomers except Bernie Sanders? Because then Biden's gone and Bernie wins by default. Oh God! Would it even honest to God? Would it even matter? Does the election even matter at this point? I mean, Bernie I would beat Trump say... if he was. Oh, the, I, I, the... I don't. I don't. I think like right now. As it stands, I don't think uh, I, I think there's enough the, like the majority of the country uh, sees Trump in a really favorable light. He's now Fuck officially, me. quote unquote, a wartime president. And historically Fuck speaking, off. what I said, I just I'm just saying, fuck off about all this Trump stuff. Just keep going. No, I mean it's it's just true. Like right now, he's because he's declared war on our invisible enemy. We've lost a Robin. Oh yeah, Robin will be coming back in a few minutes. I think she's just getting her food. But anyway, well, I gotta um, be out of here in like eight minutes. Oh, what time is it for you right now? Eight oh two. But I figured I'd give it an extra ten to see if we could we would wrap up in that time frame. Well, you can. Well, buddy, you you can you can go whenever you want, man. I'll just let you hawk your stuff. Okay, well, let's wait for Robin to get back, and then I'll do my exit. I all right, all right, all right. Keep going until then. All right, good deal, um, good deal. But, but yeah, yeah, basically, I'm just like, it doesn't seem like, like, can this a virus as big as this just like go? Like, it's just gonna be around. So like, we're just delaying the inevitable at a point. Just open shop back up so that our economy doesn't get more fucked than it already is, and move on. Well, this is apparently a new uh, a disease or a new virus, so we don't really have a whole lot of intelligence as far as how long uh, it'll last. We don't know if it'll burn forever, out like, like a SARS and swine flu and all the H one N one did. Because remember, the H one N one came in really hard, but it fizzled out after a little while. So we're not sure if this coronavirus is going to follow suit yet. All right, so. Uh, Riley, I know you have to go, and, and Robin's back, so do you want to go ahead and uh, sign off, and uh, we'll just see you next week? If you have, thank you for joining me for my fourth hour of coronavirus podcasting this week. If you would like to consume the other three, I'll tell you where you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, there's Pokemon Variety Hour, which this week's two-hour episode contains, like, 30 minutes of Pokemon talk, and an hour and a half of coronavirus talk. So, (laughs) go listen to Pokemon Variety Hour to hear me and my friends try to talk about Pokemon, not be prepared at all, and then just kind of get into a majority side tangent about the coronavirus. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we, we we were supposed to talk about cooking on this next episode, but I haven't heard, I haven't seen freaking Birdstock or his talk at all and everyone that i've tagged so far was going to come in and share their stories but you know we have the three of us so it's okay yeah, yeah we'll so go, go ahead continue Pokemon your- variety hour <laughs> spotify stitcher and now itunes it's on itunes now oh nice good job good job and then there's pixels polygons and fun which is on every conceivable podcast app you've ever heard of in your life 
and most importantly, the Riley Podcast Mega Feed. It's where you find all the podcasts I make, like Largest Issue in the Galaxy, Riley Does Tokusatsu, and the Riley Onion Movie Review Podcast, and even more. There's some some for everybody on that feed. Jesus Christ, I hit my eye. <laughs> that was. <laughs> How do you were you trying to do the destiny thing when you were like no, the I podcast mega feed? No, I accidentally moved like mis- I accidentally moved my pillow in such a way that it slapped my phone out of my hands and into my eye. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. And the the new show on there, the Riley and Noah Variety Show, episode two, which is coming out today and has already come out on BitChute. By the way, this is a video version that you can find on the Pixels Media BitChute is the coronavirus special, so that's more coronavirus talk. And you get to hear my mom yell at me and call me a lazy piece of shit at the end because I don't know how to edit a video, so that's a good time. Oh, nice, nice. So, all right. I guess final thoughts on this whole freaking thing. I don't know if it's a disaster just yet. I don't think that... Uh, I, I think that maybe we got past the initial first really... Uh, shit hump of this really just a uh, uh, god awful freaking uh, uh, situation. I- I'm thinking that maybe by uh, by next month, by maybe the middle of next month, we should start seeing some sort of improvement. But then again, I also don't know. I've been listening to every doctor and scientist. Uh, I-, I watch every single Corona press br- uh, White House briefing. Which is turned basically. Did you see Donald like, Trump fall asleep? I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I'll have to go see that. I'll have to. I'll have to watch that then, because it's basically the, the, those those uh, briefings have basically become Trump TV. It, it's his new freaking TV show on almost seven days a week now, and I get to be mildly entertained <laughs> and also like uh, freaked out. Because this is potentially a human extinction level event. And Mm -hmm. all Trump and the press can do is just fucking yell at each other. And while Here's here's a good quote from Trump yesterday. He said, you can call it a germ. You can call it a flu. You can call it a virus. You can call it many different names. I'm not sure anybody even knows what it is. Oh my god, really? (laughs) You know what's kind of crazy? It's... It's stuff like that, like, he'll go, like, a couple of weeks sounding, like, fairly intelligent, like he knows what he's doing, but then he goes and does, so, like, even W wasn't this bad. Like, no. Because you know, W had some times, like, you know, uh, family is where the heart is, where wings take dream, or, or something to that effect, and the... My, oh, my, no. my, my my favorite one is fool me once shame on shame on you you fool me can't you fool again and it's just it fucking great <laughs> you know I, I i i love that that was i think that was a defining moment in the bush administration right there that freaking quote because you got to really see what kind of president we really really had you know, and it was just like just a a, a whole. It was just a, a freaking monsoon of hilarity. I think that administration, but god damn it! Hold on. Mo, do you want a piece of cake? Oh, god damn! <laughs> fucking birthday cake and all that stuff. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> I just well, I just started screaming. Birthday cake, yeah, yeah. Uh, th- that's that's pretty much my whole uh, uh, opinion on it. I I think the, eventually, maybe next month, we'll really start to see the the freaking break in the clouds, and I think we'll be able to get back to some normal normalcy. But that's uh, as soon as the economy and the markets ramp back up again. Once that that freaking market correction hits from all these, uh, from all the, from the first stimulus bill, and we're going back in a month, in a month or two, to write another one. So, at this point, I mean, at one point, at what point do you think that the national debt just becomes sort of a joke? Uh, you know? like, 
somewhere in the range of like 16 years ago. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm <laughs> sort of like, I'm I'm sort of like Tyrion Lannister hiring the Golden Company to escort me back to Casterly Rock, and you know they're they're asking me for seventy thousand five million is like every single little contract that I sign, just uh, it just it makes me just chuckle a little bit. It's like there's no way I'm going to be able to pay this off, <laughs> you know. Like someone help me, you know. At, at this point, and there's just not fuck all we can do about it. Uh, Robin, what what are your closing thoughts? Man, well, there's a lot of thoughts. Uh, everything Riley said is wrong. Uh, social distance yourself. <laughs> yes, please, <laughs> God, do that. Do not unnecessarily like put yourself and other people in in danger because you want to go to school or some shit. Like, yeah, fucking. Or what? Riley, Riley means too close to the sun. Dear God, do not buy medical masks if you are not presenting symptoms a, a medical mask is not going to protect you from from getting the coronavirus it's just going to protect other people from catching your coronavirus if you think you might have it uh, d- uh stop buying alcohol wipes in place of hand sanitizer because diabetics need that for their insulin shots and you're fucking them over by buying all the alcohol wipes uh if you're healthy and able uh go out and donate blood all, all the blood drives got closed down because they're big gatherings. Um, so you have yeah, to like that, call that's... up the Red Cross and do appointment only uh, like blood donations. So like if you're if you're able to, I'm I'm unfortunately overweight, uh, so you know I can't can't donate blood. See, but if you're able to do it. See, that's what kind of scares me a little bit right there. Is uh, I I think to myself I don't think that the the lights or the waters are going to stop running, but uh, uh, things that we take for granted, like blood drives, and they're being threatened because uh, we don't know what what is going to happen uh, when it comes to like the blood drives in this country because of this fucking virus. I mean, we don't really think they all got shut down. You know, I'm going to edit that part out because I thought I was going to make a freaking point there. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we do you, know what's going to happen, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, Robin, you're totally right. You should go donate blood if you can. Because one thing I sort of thought about, you know, is, uh, you know, what happens when we all run out of blood? You know, because, yeah. you know, the, the blood in the bags is finite. And, you know, every so often, sometimes I hear stories about uh, lowest blood donor to- turnout in, like, the state's five-year history. I mean, this Uh is every once in a while. I don't really have, like, so much of a point of reference. But every so often, I do hear that people aren't donating as much. And you totally should. Uh, And one other thing, if you don't have the coronavirus, don't waste the hospital's time by showing up and demanding a test. Because those those tests are for people who do have the virus or who possibly have the virus. Mostly the sick and the elderly. So and from everything I've heard is if you have the coronavirus, you'll know. It's not just like a cough. Like, you'll know something's wrong with you. Like, don't go to the hospital because you have a sniffle or a cough. God, you're, you're wasting hours of important, like, medical staff's time. And stop showing up on Twitter uh, like th- this one freaking uh, guy on Twitter did, uh, I am Alex. Uh he had a quote unquote Uh-oh. bloody nose or he bloodied his nose or something. And uh, he said that he had a sore throat and he said, I might have the coronavirus. And he's been posting these pictures uh, with him coughing with his uh, uh, hand over his mouth. And now like him doing a peace sign with the quote unquote bloody nose. And he's like, don't clout chase right now. Maybe right now is not the time to rub up your Instagram or or, 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 or tweets right now. Mm-hmm. This is not the time to really cloud chase. Come on, like, have some, have some empathy. Have have some de- human decency. Okay, I know it's asking a whole lot of a lot of you influencers out there, but may, mostly, you know, calm the fuck down. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Robin, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter, twittercom slash alloy at inside alloy. Find me on uh, on Twitch where I live stream rarer and rarer every time I say it. 
So you go to <laughs> twitch.tv slash inside alloy. You should totally start streaming. I would watch your streams if you did. Yeah, I gotta stream. There's a lot of games that I'm like right at the end of beating, and I just I gotta finish them off. Nice, nice. All right, and that's it for you. Yeah, that's it. I'm yeah, I'm simple. Oh right, right. I keep forgetting. Like I'm, I'm always used to everyone having like 15 things to hawk in addition to my shit. So when I come to you, it's like, oh, you can find me here, here, and here, and then boom, like you're done in like 10 seconds. And me, it's Twitter, like, Twitch. Me. Yeah, Twitter, Twitch, boom. All right, and you can check me out at twitch.tv slash modiggity where I try to do daily live streams, mostly retro because my internet is shit. Uh, you can check us out. If you want to support the show, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Productions. That way, you know, you get all sorts of nice little content and junk. Uh, I post over there. I try to post there as much as I can. And once we start getting Patreonies or, or patrons and stuff, We'll start doing a, a bonus content for all of you. And you can also check us out at uh, anchor.fm. We're on several other platforms. You can uh, get the links from uh, just anchor.fm and uh, youtube.com forward slash C forward slash modiggity42 uh, at happygoodboy420 at twitter.com and uh, modiggity42 at uh, Instagram. I'm all over the place. So. Thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. Sorry we took the week off. We were all sort of busy with real life or we were just kind of sick. So I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Ta-ta. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules and so do I. Full commitment's what I you